Hi, my name is Terry Penny, and I'm running for the House, Florida House of Representative District 84. A little bit about me. I was uh, born in Honolulu, but I've lived in uh, Florida for 20 years. I'm 68 years old, and I live in Port St. Lucie with my husband. We have six children between us, 13 grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. I have an MBA from Chaminade University, Hon that's in Honolulu, it's a Catholic university in Honolulu. And I have my Bachelor's of Science degree in Business Administration, uh, I did some work in Economics too, from University of Tampa. Also, from Nova Southeastern University, I earned graduate credits toward Education Leadership Certification. I'm a retired high school assistant principal. I was a teacher for 25 years. Then I started a, a small business, and this was a small consulting firm that specialized in grant writing, project development, business reports. I'm an active member of the community. I've served on several boards, a board of directors in St. Lucie County Chamber of Commerce. I was uh, on the board of directors for Florida Aquaculture Foundation. I was uh, also part of the, I was a founding chairperson of the first high school, charter high school in St. Lucie County. I was appointed by the St. Lucie County Commissioners to serve representing St. Lucie County uh, for the Treasure Coast Regional Planning Council's Strategic Economic Development Council. It's a mouthful, but I really enjoyed that. I was uh, also a board member of Samaritan School for Boys, board member for Castle, I'm a board member for Homeowners Association. I'm currently board member of the Center of AgriLife Research and Education. School excellence comes from meeting the diverse needs of students. And this can be a very complex uh, situation to uh, see. It's compounded by the fact that every student is different. Their learning needs are different. And so what works for one child in a traditional brick and mortar classroom doesn't necessarily work for another child who would be better in a smaller, intimate, uh, let's say, charter school. Some students even do better online. And it's for this reason that I support school choice. I am more inclined to believe in having a student-centered type of education system rather than a school-centered education system or teacher-centered education system. We need to focus and pay attention to the individual needs of the students. And for this reason, I uh, would fight for dollars and, uh, to, to help that. Uh, in terms of the charter schools, I believe that, um, I'm very familiar with that, there is a contentious relationship between the school district and charter schools. It has to do with control and uh, a fight for dollars, but um, uh, the fair situation in my mind would be to have the charter school overseen by the state. And the reason for this is, if you have a competitor and it's going to evaluate its competition, it's going to control and manage its competition, you can understand how that's sort of like, uh, you know, not a fair uh, situation. I would support legislation, always, where we're not taking more money out of the taxpayers' do uh, pockets. Rather, I prefer uh, giving the taxpayer a tax refundable credit. This is where they can uh, claim their health insurance premiums on, uh, as a, a tax refund. In rising insurance rates, much of it comes from, studies will tell you, from a fraud and from rampant 
medical liability claims. Yeah, I think that we should do something about reevaluating re that. And uh, uh, it, it's a pretty significant part of why insurance companies feel the need to raise their rates. And I'm not against allowing people to shop for uh, health insurance across the state line. Again, this expands the market, and I'm of the belief that if you let the market take care of the situation, prices will become competitive, and that's one way of getting it reduced. Um, and so that's how I feel about my role. If, when I go to Tallahassee, I would first of all make sure that we're not raising taxes or we're taking more money out of the taxpayer, but giving them a tax refundable uh, credit. First of all, I can't favor it because the majority of my supporters are against it. You know, secondly, I believe in the Constitution and I believe in the Second Amendment. And if an individual wants to purchase or collect guns, that's the individual's right. You know, we are penalizing law-abiding citizens when we start banning uh, any kind of weapons. It's not the gun that kills the person, it's the individual that, that kills people. And so we need to look at, at that. Hunters, farmers, collectors, law-abiding citizens, they all, some people like that sort of thing. They like to put it up in, in a collection shelf or something, or they like to shoot it. So one of my supporters says, it's fun. It's fun to shoot these things. So, you know, these are law-abiding citizens again. Now, I am not against background check. As a matter of fact, I'm for it. I'm not against online programs, watch programs, or education and training programs. Actually, I'm 100% for that. But to ban weapons, I've promised my supporters I won't do that, and for that reason, I wouldn't. Again, my name is Terry Penny, and I'm asking you for your support and your vote. I'm an active person in my committee, in, in my community. I am described by many as a person of integrity because I believe in doing things and doing things right with ethics and transparency. As a matter of fact, my word on that is I'm about to give you my cell number because if you have anything you want to tell me, share with me, want me to check into, that's the kind of legislator I will be. My number is 772. 979-3783. Now, I can relate to all people. I am a conservative Republican with conservative values, but I have compassion, and I have compassion for non-Republicans, Democrats, independents, everyone, because I can relate to what they believe in and what they think. I am a results-oriented person. I go after goals with a drive. Everyone will tell you that about me. In Tallahassee, we will not only be heard, we will be noticed because I will go up there and I will let them know about our concerns about our coastal, coastline waters, the water degradation, whatever our issue is. That's why I want you to call me and keep me informed on what needs to be done. Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, Hutchinson Island, let me be your voice in Tallahassee. Again, this is Terry Penny. Check out my website on www.votepenny, that's P-I-N-N-E-Y, dot com. Thank you very much for listening to me.